All right, we're going to learn our third method for solving systems of linear equations today. This method is called the elimination method. And so here's our system. We have x plus y equals 8 and x minus y equals 4. Now this one is set up for elimination process because we have coefficients of one of the variables that are opposites. So first, what are opposites again? Opposite would be like 5 and negative 5, right? 5 plus negative 5 is 0. 100 plus a negative 100, those are opposites. You add those up, you get 0. 1,000 and a negative 1,000. Well, 1,000 plus negative 1,000 is 0. Anytime you add opposites, you always get 0. So now let's look at our system here. What are the coefficients? Coefficients is a fancy word for the number that's in front of the variable. So the coefficient of x here is 1. The coefficient of the x on the bottom is also 1. Those are not opposites. They are the same value. Okay. So when you add those, you will not get 0. But check out the y's. The top equation is x plus 1y. And then look at the one below. It's negative 1, or it's minus 1, which means plus negative 1y. So now we have opposite numbers for the coefficient of y. So look what happens now when we add these two equations. When we have this scenario, we just add the two equations. Look what happens. 1x plus 1x. 2x. 1y plus negative 1y, no y. 8 plus 4 is 12. So that's how we get this first step. 2x equals 12. All right, then we divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 6. All right, for step 2 now, we're simply going to take that x equals 6 and substitute it back into one of the equations to solve for y. So I chose the top equation, x plus y equals 8. And so you see over here, I substituted the 6 for the x. So boop, 6 replaced x. 6 plus y equals 8. Subtract 6 from both sides. We get y equals 2. Just for fun, let's do it on the bottom equation as well. So if I did the bottom, I would have had 6 minus y equals 4, correct? Then you would subtract 6 from both sides, and you would have had negative y equals negative 2. Then you would have divided both sides by negative 1, or you could have said you multiply both sides by negative 1. Either way, we get y equals 2. So I show you this just so you know you can substitute into either equation. You don't have to do both. You just do one of them, okay? But you can substitute into either one, and you'll get the same answer, y equals 2. All right, for our last step now, uh, we need to check our solution, make sure it works. So to do that, we need to take our x is equal to 6, y equals 2, substitute into both equations and make sure it works. So for the x plus y equals 8, I substitute 6 for x, 2 for y, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 equals 8, check. All right, x minus y equals 4 is our second equation. Again, I substitute 6 for x. I substitute the 2 for the y, so it's 6 minus 2, which gets me 4 equals 4. That's a true story, so it checks. How do we write our final answer? I want to see your final answer as a ordered pair in the form of 6, 2. What does that represent again? That's right. It represents the point of intersection of these two lines. So if I graph these in Desmos, you'll get the intersection point is 6, 2. And that's it. That's the easiest method for solving a system of linear equations using, sub, using elimination method when the, it's all set up for us, right? It's set up where we have coefficients of either x or y are opposites so that when you add those two equations, it eliminates that one variable, allowing us to solve this quickly. All right, we will be looking at other examples where it's not always set up for you right away. You got to do something to one of the equations in order to get it ready to go. Stay tuned for that.